<laughs> hey guys, hey guys, guess what? Uh, I'm going to Magic Mountain! Hey dummies, you excited to have a Six Flags day, but like the good kind? Tyler, you've been here before, but you didn't have the best experience. Yeah, so the last time I was here, the world kind of shut down and it started pouring. You were here the last day they were open before COVID, yeah, right? I mean, that's that's just insane to think about. But uh, yeah, I basically did like half the park, so they did like the left side. It's a beautiful day. It's gonna be a little bit hot out, but I'm ready to go. Excellent. So, Of course, since we're visiting in October, Fright Fest is currently going on, but today is a Thursday and is only running on weekends. So, we're doing two days at the park, and tomorrow we'll get to experience the park during Fright Fest. Since my last visit, Tatsu's been completely repainted. Look at those colors, it's That's Nickelodeon! Like a, it's like a hyper pretzel loop. It's huge! There it is, and we're not going that way because it's delayed for another hour. And we found Chuck and Chase! Hey. hey! Great to see you guys again. Last time we saw you was in Vienna, Austria. Exactly. Yeah. So, great to see you again. This is your home park. You gotta be ready for up to 43 inversions in this park. What? So, is that really how many there are? Versus 28 at Cedar, Cedar Point. Wow. So a lot of people oh, aren't aware of that, and they get sick like halfway through the day, especially oh. when it's really hot. So we gotta drink some water, oh. hydrate. Here it is, the entrance to Tatsu. Ta ta ta. Oh yeah. Ta ta ta. Yeah yeah. Ta ta ta. Back row on Tatsu. Uh, no. Yeah, it's awesome. <laughs> oh, that pretzel loop just never ended. Yeah, I am a that disheveled was mess. <laughs> Look at the sheer size of this thing. It literally feels like you're flying. Like, yeah. actually feels like you're flying. Yeah. Oh, it's it's really graceful until it tries to kill you. When Tatsu's a walk on, we now do the front row. You guys ready? I imagine this will be a little easier on my soul than the back row on the pretzel loop. That is completely fair. Front row on Tatsu is wild. I honestly think I liked it better up there. Yeah, I, I wouldn't blame you. I think the pretzel loop might have been just like a smidgen too much in the back for it's my little self. It's a lot, self. yeah. However, riding it up front, it was still too much, but I liked it. <laughs> when you're in the front coming out of the pretzel loop, you get like, oh, it's amazing. It's, it's like rough at the bottom of it though. It is, I yeah. I, that's the I one thing I wish that, like that's my only critique, because your head is shoved up against the back of the restraint and it kind of like, like, Listen, I'm here for it. I feel like it my awesome. brain was it like It gets vibrating. rattles around, yeah, yeah. And then um, going into the break run too, there was a surprise pop. There was an air time. Air pop. time when yeah, you're in the front. It felt like fly for like one second. Yeah, for one was, second I, I, it I did. Like, what the fly? Yeah. Still though. But this yeah, one is cool because it, it builds as it goes along. Yeah. It gets better uh, not, as it's, the layout it's, progresses. It's, it's not like when you get like on like a Superman clone. It's like, it, oh, okay. It peaks at the beginning. Look what's open. Also over there. Do you guys recognize that from National Lampoon's Vacation? No way! That is where the Griswold family got arrested. Oh, is it actually? Yeah, that's where they filmed it. Yeah. That's awesome. Is everybody in? The ceremony is about to begin. XX222. It sounds sacrificial in some way. Here we are. And how's the station looking? Literally deserted. Excellent. Oh man. Have fun guys. Are you ready? I'm a little scared. This and Tatsu are probably the first time that I felt like nerves. Yeah. I'm on a roller coaster. Just like I got over that when I was in like middle school. Absolutely. No, this ride this ride is worthy of it. It absolutely is. I can't imagine being a kid and trying this out. guys i know you're super excited to find out what we thought of x2 and you're going to don't worry in like 60 seconds but first we're going to talk about hello fresh let's be real riding roller coasters all day can be exhausting i know after i marathon x2 i want to do nothing more than potato out for like five hours this makes grocery shopping kind of a pain HelloFresh is an awesome alternative to traditional grocery shopping. You have pre-prepped meals, everything is pre-measured out for you, so it eliminates a lot of the mental energy that comes with traditional grocery shopping. Especially when we eat at theme parks literally all the time. Like, I'm sorry, Six Flags, I can only have frozen chicken tenders so many times. Trust me, you need this. And if you're not a really good cook, it doesn't really matter. Everything is laid out nice and easy for you. Some would call it dummy-proof. Wait, why are we looking at me now? 
HelloFresh is delivered right to your doorstep and you can customize it as much as you want depending on the amount of people you have in your household, any dietary restrictions you might have, and there's over 50 different meals to choose from every week. Use my link or go to HelloFresh.com and use the promo code seen on your screen for 65% off plus free shipping on your first box. Once you click, my description will live update to count up the purchases. You okay, girl? My dude, you're that freaking out. Was <laughs> Look at my hand. Awesome. Oh my Have god. Have you ever, ever seen me scared? No, that was the most I've ever I seen was, you freak out on a ride. I don't think I've actually, I haven't been like scared, scared for a ride in a while. Yeah. That was actually spooky. You scared the bejesus out yeah. of me. Yeah. <laughs> I actually screamed my little head off. And he didn't know which way was up. <laughs> Round two. Heck yeah. All right, that was lap number four. Back to back rides. Every time you exit, there's an empty spot. You just get back on. My head is pounding. Uh, so worth it. So worth it's so, so worth, worth it. it. Outside heat again. <laughs> I am not doing it. I'm not. I'm taking the inside seat. I, even if I have to ride alone, I don't care. I know what's gonna happen, and I scream every time. Like that drop in the back row, like that should not be allowed to exist. How is X2 only 48 inches tall? So someone can ride this much, Dawson. But they can't ride a freaking icebreaker? <laughs> I need a break. I need a break. <laughs> and you know what's crazy is that ride is great. We didn't even get the full experience. The onboard audio wasn't working. Oh, and there's no that. fire. Oh. Can you imagine this thing like after like a hot summer day at night? With yes, like, I've done it. <laughs> fire? Yes, I've done it. Oh my god. I love this display they have right here. The greatest coasters ever built. I don't they have on I don't see nitro on there. Where's Get Bob? out of here. Bob? I can't You're Where so dumb. No. Next up, what are we riding, Tyler? We're riding the number one ride in the world. Be a part of history. Number one in the world. Be a part of history. King of the Cop. Yeah, no. King of the El Toro? No. X2? Not X2. Superman Escape from Krypton. No. Full throttle is so weird, but it's fun, so we're going again. <laughs> yeah, that was that was a really cool ride layout. I loved the big vertical loop. I loved the hang time. I don't know how hang time could have better hang time than that. You love the ending, don't you? Yeah. I can tell. You're just like, that's the best ending for roller coaster <laughs> in the world. <laughs> just kidding. What were you doing? <laughs> it's stupid. Yeah, I don't legit, understand. I don't understand. S someone explain this to me. Explain to me why why you couldn't just like do something over here and then like that's that would it make it better. Kinda, it kind of hurts the way you slam into the brakes like while you're still kind of like you're ejected. From the yeah, you're like you're like it, out of your seat and then you just and then you slam. Just, yeah. Keeping with the theme, we're the only ones in the station. I didn't really expect a lot from it, but I think it like the seat of my expectations up. She's like kind of kind of got a kick to it. It does. And, it um, absolutely does. Yeah, time is like unreal. Yeah. Like that's just yeah, that is. so good. <laughs> Woo! Just got off the back row. Can someone tell me why you can just walk out into the catwalk right here and there's not a barrier for it? What is this, Europe? <laughs> Literally. We are getting Mexican food here. So these are some loaded nachos that are getting made with cilantro chicken. Let me see your quesadilla. Ooh, carne asada. Delicious. How long have these feet been in Goliath's queue? Why have I never noticed those before? I'm excited to ride one of these. I've never been on one. So this should be interesting. We 
Tell Just Broke Goliath, and between the four of us who came here together, two people liked it, and two people wait, not so much. Wait, who didn't like it? You didn't like it? I didn't, I didn't dislike it. No, Actually, I, just, I just like it. I just no. like it. Why? Is that right? I think it's stupid. No, I feel like we were fun. on different rides. It's like, it's very fun. Exactly, That's the drop. I, mean, I, I literally mean, lost my vision entirely on the helix. The helix the is intense, insane. and... That's it. I mean, even it's that smooth, is, it's it fun, is smooth, it's but it does nothing. It was really smooth, yeah. I, I enjoyed it. That, you call good. that intense ass gray out nothing? That's it. That's yeah. the only moment. Every, yeah. Everything yeah. else it's is really super well, I mean, even then, like, the drop, I got, like, a little, like, pop out of my seat. That's, a, that's a stretch. <laughs> no, no, I got airtime. Like, I got airtime. Yeah, I got airtime. I'm right. It was fun. These boys don't know what they're talking about, right, Matt? Yeah, exactly. Comment below. No. Goliath, is it stupid or is it fun? No, it's so much fun. All right, Chuck, tell the camera what you were just telling me. It's about Goliath. Typically, if you already have the credit, it's rare that anyone else will ride Goliath the second time. Yes. Unless you're with other people that need the credit. Because it's yeah. kind of a waste of time, and you'd rather get extra rides on, let's say, Twist the Colossus, or Lex ah. Luthor, or even the Buccaneer late at night. Yeah. You know, in the just, past, so when fun. I've come to Magic Mountain, I've always skipped this thing. Uh, yeah. Like, so. it's one of those rides that you bypass. And, like, we've done multiple rides on every other attraction here. This yeah. is the first one that we're like, all right, let's move on. You know? Exactly. I'm sorry, that's an indicator. It's just the point. It's not as terrible, but it's not something you need to rewrite. <laughs> Lex Luthor drop of doom was spooky. It was very spooky. It's a good drop tower. It is it's a good drop tower. Zoom and Jaro, but the view was definitely cooler than the. And there's audio. I like the audio, and it's so bright I yeah, can't like see Dr. anything. Doom is, <laughs> Doctor Doom is like actually like fun. The Doctor Doom is so lame. But the thing is, the audio like ended, and then we still were sitting there for a bit. And I I'm like, we, I thought yeah, we'd be up there for a sec. I was like. Ooh. <laughs> But you know what's even scarier? What? That we've been here for this long and I still haven't been on an RMC. I know, we should we should do that. We should do that. We're about to enter DC Universe where I see Wonder Woman, Golden Lasso of Courage and Truth. Uh, I, I don't, I don't what well, I don't know what the name of this thing is. I can never Wonder Woman. It was Wonder Woman. I can never remember what comes afterwards. It's oh it's Flight of Courage. Well, I can, I'm Wonder sorry. Woman I probably sound so GP to that. I literally like there's too many Wonder Womans and like Batmans and Supermans like but hey, no, this is this is gonna be great. That is the last RMC I need to ride before I have all of them. Here's a look at our refresh plaza. So there's the entrance to Batman. There's the new DC gift shop. And here is the entrance to Wonder Woman. So if you recall, this is where Green Lantern was. So they made sure to take good use of that space. And uh, if you ask me, this is a much better use for it. Whoa. There it goes. We're entering the embassy of Themyscira. Wow, I didn't know that this had an indoor queue. Look at this. It's all stuff about Themyscira. This is, nice. this is very nice. Look at this. Wow, that looks great. Unfortunately, the station is pretty bare bones. Really, not much to it at all. RMC completion. I can now say I've ridden every single roller coaster by Rocky Mountain Construction around the world. Wonder Woman, Flight of Courage being the last one, which we all agreed we like more than Jersey Devil. It's definitely better yeah. than Jersey Devil, it although is. it is a little bit more dramatic. It's definitely shakier, yeah. but the main difference is the ending. So you can see this like over bank right here, and then there's this high outer bank right there, and I think the ending is what makes it better. It makes it feel more complete. That's what but I said. It makes I, yeah. It more complete. I would also argue it, like the elements that are the same, I think it takes them better. It feels more intense. I yeah. like the way this runs. This yeah, is, the pacing is like, Pretty good. Yeah, it's definitely and, and a front row ride though. Down on the break ride front well. row over back row. Honestly, yeah. Ooh, other okay. than the drop, I felt okay. like like uh, that turnaround section. Like you get like absolutely yeah. thrown into it. Like yeah. it's startling. Okay. Yeah. And then like, I feel like the airtime on those last few hills that are absolute duds on Jersey Devil, by the way, are they are not duds here, and you no, actually get airtime up front. So. That is very very yeah, true. I this is better and a lot more intense than Devil. A lot of great angles here of Wonder Woman uh, right here in front of the entrance to Riddler's Revenge, which is currently 
not open. There's a sign out for it. And we actually only have 30 minutes till the park closes for the day. So we're gonna head over to Twisted Colossus for our final rides. But don't worry, we got a second day tomorrow to pick up all those rides that we missed. We are now entering the Scream Punk District. You know what this like centerpiece reminds me of? First of all, this is just for Fright Fest. It's not normally there. But that reminds me of the entrance into the wilderness area of Wallaby Holland, where Untamed is. Remember that? Yeah. Very reminiscent. It's very cool. I really like it because like it fits in with the Scream Punk District. Uh, the way they describe this area is it's the past if the future had happened earlier. What? And yeah, I don't know. I love today. There's literally no one in the station for Twisted Colossus. And by that, I mean we can pick any row we want. So uh, I think we should go to the front. We just got off the last train of the night here on Twisted Colossus, which brings our ride count on Twisted Colossus to actually three. We were able to stay in our seats every single time. It feels like the people who work this ride don't care about yes. the ride at all. Yes. And it's really sad because I'm like, if you had like, because it's like three people up there, if you had three enthusiasts running this ride, even with two trains, they would make sure you got half a duel every time. Yeah. And we're literally like, hey, we're the last train of the night. Could you maybe wait an extra like 30? seconds to send us that way we can get a half of a duel they're like no the park's closed they're all like we it's got literally a duel, yeah we whatever. got a duel we got two duels it was actually but they're fun. half duels though no, there's no. on two trains you can't get a full duel okay, on two right, trains so we, we got one full duel we got two half ones i it, it was <laughs> that's cool. not how it works I'll, I'll shut up it was cool it didn't make the ride like night and day difference but it was a cool see i beg to differ uh, i beg to differ you can beg all you want it was a cooler experience <laughs> i don't think yeah. it made the ride so nice. i think the ride is fine otherwise like it's got like some fun moments but like it's not like it's not spectacular. You know, it's something I can't say forever at RMC. I think it's a front row ride. I think oh, okay. it's better in the front than it is in the back. That's it's a, fair. It's a really fun ride no matter what though. I mean, it's obviously, you know, wish you could do every time. So my rant on this, and I know I've done this a couple times on the channel, but uh, RMC designed what is a perfect layout. Like all of the elements oh, yeah. are so great. Everything about this thing is awesome. However, the way Magic Mountain runs it is not awesome. We're sitting on the lift hill. The only thing I can think about is, oh, are we going to duel? Are we going to duel? And then we don't duel and it's super sad. And then I'm just kind of like frustrated the whole time. So Twisted Colossus is the most frustrating roller coaster, in my opinion, to ride because it does not run the way it should when it has the potential to run unbelievable when it double duels I think that could be a top 10 roller coaster but because it doesn't I think it is a bottom tier RMC I think it's one of the, one of the best and more unique RMC's that are out there you're in those inversions and you're almost touching the other people on the terrain going that fast it's the best it is credit. unbelievable when I first came here in 2016 it was a double duel every single time this thing always dueled always dueled and now it is rare if you get a half duel and never a double duel stupid it's stupid it's dumb it's annoying so dumb hey not you and that does it for day one here at Six Flags Magic Mountain. Overall, this was a really productive day. I mean, we didn't do everything, but that's totally but we okay. We did X2 like four times, five, five times, times like something times. like that. Yeah. A bunch of the main stuff, and I think that it still makes for a very exciting day too because we still have a lot of really so, great so roller coasters coming up. I don't know why I'm so excited to do Superman. Like, I just don't understand why. I mean, it is like, an intimate Ellis and Lutz coaster, like, like so the hype, just yeah. the hype in the is of the like, park, there. And I'm like, I just want to ride it so bad. I'm excited to do Superman, because that's going to be a new experience for yeah. me, because now that they're launching it both forwards and backwards. Now. So I've only launched backwards, so it'll be cool to do it forwards. Go. This park is really pretty. It is. I don't it know, I, I like it. I think it's really pretty. And also, I really like and appreciate how the coasters aren't just on the edge of the park. Great like adventure. other. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, sorry. But I like how like the rides are like inside the park. Like, yeah. You can walk under Superband or. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I yeah. Really, exactly. I, Everywhere I you look, that. there's You're roller surrounded. coasters. Exactly. This is a really cool place. Stay tuned for day two coming up yes. very soon. But thank you guys so much for joining us, and we'll see you next time.